Welcome to Monday's BBC Newsline. Good to have you with us. The headlines. As the number of COVID-19 cases here continues to rise, a warning of more people being admitted to hospital with the virus in the weeks ahead. We've probably reached or about to reach the peak of infections, but what we do tend to see is this plateaus and it will continue on for the next couple of weeks. And then in that time, we'll see um, increases in hospitalizations and deaths. MPs from Northern Ireland are right now trying to change government legislation, which aims to end troubles related prosecutions. As workers from two companies call off strikes after accepting pay deals, we focus on wages amid the rising cost of living. Ray McDowell tells us about what he calls attacks on his moral integrity after joining the Saudi backed Live Tour. I wake up and feel proud of myself every day, you know. I come turn on my Instagram or Twitter account without, you know, someone telling me to go die, you know. So it's 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 pretty it's been it's been a really tough couple of months. Uh, but again, I expected it. Also on the program. I'm in Money Moor where a local historian has helped to find an ancient settlement, a Cranog. I'll have more on that Graham McDowell story live from Adair Manor. Plus, we'll have the latest from Southampton as the Northern Ireland women's football team arrive for the Euros. And it's been a rather cloudy day with some sunshine. Can we expect more sunnier skies through the rest of the week? Find out later in the programme. Hello. More than 600 staff are off work because of COVID-19 in one health trust alone in Northern Ireland.